Hey, my beautiful Aries peeps, what's going on, everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moons Tarot, and I'm coming at you with your mid, sorry, not your mid-October. This is going to be your November reading. I It is so hard to adjust to a new month sometimes, but this is going to be your November 2022 tarot reading. How are you? I hope you guys are well, and thank you all so much for tuning in. So without a further ado, we're going to jump on into this, and we shall see what is up. So what do we got going on here, please, for the Zodiac Signs of Aries? This is a horrible shuffle to start off with, and so is that, so we're going to ignore my horrible shuffle shuffling skills today. All right, but what information do we got showing up here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding the month here of October 2022? What do we got going on here, baby? What do we have showing up here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout November 2022? I might have said October. If I said that, y'all, my apologies. I got to adjust here to the new month. Okay. Overall energy though. Nice. We start out here with the sun card. I like that for you. So sun card coming in here, very positive energy. Sun card represents the zodiac sign of Leo. So when we see the sun coming in here, it represents happiness. It represents growth. It represents being in an overall good place. You know, as you could see, we have the sunflowers over here. They're growing taller and taller and taller. So kind of giving me the vibration here that like in terms of your happiness, like there are things accumulating this month that are allowing you to grow much more of a happier person and become more of a happier person, which is genuinely really great to see. So I do feel like there are things and stuff coming in here that are helping you accumulate becoming much more of a happier person. Person. Cool. I like that. Um, it's not things in the sense of material, though. I don't feel like um, like they're very well likely could be material gains happening here in the month of October in the month of November 2022. Uh, there could be material gains happening here for some of you, but it feels more like your own self growth and development is really starting to play out for you. And you're starting to see that. And it's a really beautiful thing, like the comfortability you're finding within yourself the explorative nature of discovering more of who you are each and every single day is definitely a beautiful thing that you're not taking for granted. I think that many of you here are just starting to explore more of who you are and you're becoming more of the person you want to be. And there's a lot of contentment with, you know, where you're at and who you're becoming and what you're doing. So it just genuinely feels really great starting out here with this overall energy. Okay, uh, let's look at the current situation. The star, hello, love that for you. We also have the uh, Ace of Pentacles, very nice. And then lastly for you, we have the Queen of Cups. So not bad at all. Very good energy is coming into play here for you. So when we look at the star card here, you know, star card is the card that usually represents alignment, right? So things are aligned. The stars are aligned. Things are going within your favor. So it looks to me like right now, there doesn't seem to be much resistance in your life in reference to what you're doing. You know, if you really want to do something, Aries, you have the capability to make it happen relatively fast. And I think a lot of that has to do with your high vibrational energy. You know, the more a person is in a great vibration and the more a person is confident in who they are and their capability to do things, the more easier it's going to become to manifest and to make our reality whatever we desire it to be. So it feels to me like you are taking this opportunity right now with the lovely energy that you have to make some serious moves in your life. And it does look to me like on an emotional level, things are looking fantastic. Uh, when it comes towards your environment, it does feel to me like you're surrounded by really good people. I think that during the self-transformative time, you're noticing that the people you have in your support group, the people you have in your inner circle are very good for you. I think they make a lot of a difference in your life. So you might be noticing that you're getting closer to your friends or closer to your family throughout the month of November here. And because of how supportive they've been and because of how great they've been around you, you really feel like they've been a good backbone for you in this uh, transformative process. You've had good people to lean on when you've needed to. So I do feel a good structure of people in your environment here uh, being here, you know, so I really think that's lovely as well. But when I see the star here and I see the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like considering I'm in such a good place, like I'm going to take the opportunity this month to make moves. I'm going to take the opportunity here to, you know, to do the things that I didn't previously have uh, the motivation to do. You know, when we're all in a good space, especially mentally, being in a mental good and in, in, in a good space mentally is such an underrated thing. I don't think people recognize how great it is for you to be in a great place mentally because it really allows you to do what you want with your life with ease. You know, depression is one of the biggest things that give everybody the most ultimate setbacks. You know, when you're depressed, when you're unhappy, when you're unfulfilled in life, it's incredibly hard to be motivated to do anything at all. You know, even a basic task can become one of the most daunting things to do. Uh, but when we find ourselves in an incredibly high vibration, 
it's incredibly easy to do even some of the things we thought were hard to do in our past. So it's really nice to see you in this space. I think you're gonna be heavily motivated this month. You're gonna be in a great space and um, it's gonna be quite the transformative time. Uh, let's see what you're gonna be doing about your current situation. So what is Aries doing about their current situation? We pulled the Knight of Pentacles, cool. We pulled here the Hermit. And then lastly for you, we pulled the 10 of Cups. Hello, I love that for you as well. So looking at what you're doing about your current situation, Situation, we start with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is the card of commitment, right? Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, you acknowledge in the month of November that self transformation is not a race. You know, it's not something that needs to happen overnight. It is definitely a process that's lengthy, but it's a process that's more than achievable. You know, you're recognizing that no matter how small the growth is, growth is growth, you know? No matter how big or how small the changes are, change is indeed change. Uh, so you're really starting to appreciate your small victories. I feel like many of you are learning to celebrate your small victories more often. And I think that that's a great thing to implicate in your life. Because the more that we can celebrate our small victories, the more we recognize that we're winning, right? You know, I think a lot of people only really celebrate when they pull off a big victory or a big win. But if we can learn to celebrate our small victories on a daily basis, we can learn to become more proud of ourselves and we can learn to enjoy the process more because we start to realize that the outcome doesn't matter as much when you are allowing yourself to just simply enjoy the journey. You know, speaking of enjoying the journey here, the hermit, that's what I feel like the wisdom that's coming in here for you is saying, because the hermit card may represent, you know, being in isolation, but it also represents wisdom because the hermit is the wisest card in the tarot deck. So I feel like the wisdom that many of you are starting to put into your life and implicate into your life this month is enjoy the process of what you're doing. You know, if you want to complete a goal, it's not always about getting to the end result, but instead it's about just simply enjoying the process, having fun and being happy and content uh, with the life you're working for and working towards. So I think for many of you here, right, just being in an overall healthy place mentally, it's really going to start to... Uh, build a lot of uh, wonderful things in your life here. But I think that the most important thing that we're taking away here from this reading so far is that it's not about only giving myself permission to be happy when I've reached my end goal. It's about giving myself permission to be happy now, just enjoying what I'm working towards in life. So I think it's been a while, Aries, to be honest, that you have felt the feeling of just simply enjoying working towards something. And even if it's just yourself, working on yourself, right? So now that you're in the space where you can pretty much just enjoy working towards the life that you're building, the life that you want, and the life that you're manifesting, it's an overall great feeling to see. Okay, so I like this energy for you so far. Things are looking very, very well. Uh, moving along forward here, though, I do want to see what is potentially coming in here for you in mid, uh, not in mid October, in November 2022. I feel like so many Aries in the comments are going to drag me for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to keep saying it. You know, we're still in the month of October as I'm filming this, so it's a little tricky. It's hard. But either way, uh, what are some things that may be coming in here potentially for Aries throughout their November 2022? All right. First card out, we have the Five of Cups. All right. Moving on forward from that, we do have the Nine of Wands. And then lastly for you, we have the Ace of Wands. Cool. I like that a lot here for you, too. I think a big thing that's going to happen for you, a big thing that's going to come in here for you in the month of November is you're going to start to see what the Five of Cups truly means. When you look at the Five of Cups, right, you naturally tend to see three cups that are knocked over. We can see these three cups over here that are spilt. They're not, go you know, they're knocked over. This usually represents unhappiness because when we think of the Three of Cups in the Tarot, Three of Cups represents joy. So when you see those cups fall, it's like some sort of joy has been taken from me. But what a lot of people don't realize about the Five of Cups is that there's still two cups that are left standing. And what I love about this deck is that you can actually see there are roses that are growing from them cups, so or that are growing from the cups. So you could see that uh, the two of cups that are still standing over here, it's like, even if you went through a really difficult space, even if you went through a really difficult time or you lost something that brought you joy in life, it doesn't mean that it's gone forever. It doesn't mean that you're never going to find something again that doesn't bring you joy because you definitely will. So five of cups here is like, hey, no matter how you know rough life might have gotten, there are still better days ahead. There's still better things ahead, you know? So I think for many of you here, you've recognized that. I think that uh, you've learned to let go of all the things you've lost that you've held on to. You know, I think a lot of us hold on to the things we lost because we feel that we're never going to get to experience something similar or something even better 
than what we've experienced ever again. You know, many of us hold on to the things we've lost and we try to relive it over and over and over again because we believe that we're never going to find better. But the truth is, is that we do. And what's coming in here for you as well is going to be the Ace of Wands. And Ace of Wands represents passionate brand new beginnings. Um, but it also represents here too a new perspective. You know, coming in with all this happiness with the sun card, coming in with all this uh, positive mental type of energy, I think that uh, your perspectives are also going to change heavily here too. So you'll start to notice, like, I'm not upset anymore about some things in my life that I've lost, you know? Whether it's been certain friendships that meant a lot to me that I tried to hold on to and rebuild, or whether I lost a lover and I tried to rebuild that and it didn't work out, or whether I lost, um, you know, a job that I cared about and loved. It's like, whatever you lost that really hurt you, you're now starting to open up your eyes this month to the fact that you can accumulate better, you know? You never really believed that till now. But you're going to start to see it here in the month of November. It's like, yeah, in my past, I never thought I could cu accumulate better, so I would hold on to the things I've lost and wish that one day I could rebuild it. But now I can see that I can do better, I can build better, I can find better. I see that there's better things out there for me. So ultimately, your perspectives here are changing, but they're changing in a much more positive type of manner, okay? All right, let's have a look here and see if there are some things happening that you might not be aware about this month that you should be. So is there any information here for Aries that they might not be aware about regarding November 2022 that they should be aware about during this time? Ooh, Three of Wands. Something is traveling towards you. Yeah. What's traveling towards Aries? What is this Three of Wands about? What is traveling towards Aries that they're not aware about? And we have here the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, a very finicky kind of energy. I feel like this is probably a bit of a warning for you, Aries. Uh, so I would definitely say be careful. Okay. There is something happening here that uh, you might want to watch out about. So Two of Pentacles, very finicky card, very on and off kind of energy, usually kind of represents a person who's fickle or a person who um, is very inconsistent. Be careful with investments. And I mean investments kind of all across the board. Uh, investments in the sense of financial, in the sense of romantically, in the sense of acquaintance or friendship. Uh, just be really mindful of the people and situations you tend to invest into, okay? Not everybody is Mr. or Mrs. Nice Person, okay? <laughs> Not everybody is a good person. And, uh, you know, even though we wish that everybody could be, the truth is, is that they're not. So I do feel like you should watch out for people that have inconsistencies. Uh, be careful in the financial space for any Aries that are into uh, cryptocurrency, for any Aries that are into anything financial at all. Be really careful of people trying to drag you into financial schemes. I kind of feel that showing up here in this month, okay? Or I kind of feel the energy too of maybe people potentially overcharging you. So if you're going to get work done, maybe you're getting work done in your house, maybe you're getting work done in your car, go to the places that are having good reviews, you know, or places that people like that you're friends with or your family with recommend you to go to. Like, don't go to something random. Really do your research, okay? If you're going to be contacting people with anything financial, like fixing a car, doing home upgrades, um, if it's about, you know, um, if it's not about that and it's about, you know, your investments in people, like pay close attention, be aware at all times of people's behaviors and how they treat you. So essentially, Aries, just keep an open mind and keep an open eye. All right. There might be some situations you can get potentially looped into that aren't going to be the best for you. Because remember, it doesn't matter how high vibrational you are, even if you're attracting the light, the dark still tends to get attracted to the light too. You know, most of the time when we're shining so bright, there's going to be a darkness that wants to put out your shine. So be very mindful of that coming into the month here of November, okay? I just had that feeling to say that to you. So take it if it resonates, of course, leave it if it doesn't. So just watch out. I do feel like uh, inconsistent energies may be surrounding you. You know, this could be people that can come in with a great smile, but under that smile is something very dark, all right? Now, we also have the lovers in the... Uh, section here of what you might not be aware about and we have the seven of pentacles there is an opportunity here that love is potentially sprouting in the month of november but i kind of feel the energy that you don't see it or somebody else doesn't see it there is this uh love that's growing but i get the vibration here that there is not a lot of communication surrounding it it seems like uh neither of you are communicating about this yeah we have the wheel of fortune things are changing okay uh so what's coming in here for you that you might not be aware about right so if you're not aware about it 
here it is. So there is some sort of love connection manifesting here. I think you're either going to start to develop feelings for someone, someone develops feelings for you, or it's mutual. It's probably mutual. You know, you might have never thought you would catch feelings for a certain friend. You might have never thought you would catch feelings for a specific person. But over time, it's going to start to become more and more of a thing. And you're going to start to become more and more aware of, oh, shit, I think there is feelings here. So Wheel of Fortune, dynamics are changing. So this gives me the energy of friend dynamics potentially changing. So Aries, in the month of November here, you might notice that your friendships with people might be becoming a little bit more than just that. You know, maybe there's a specific person who is always a friend to you, but now you're starting to see, I don't really know if there's much of a friendship here with the way that we've both been behaving, with the feelings we've both been having, things are changing a little bit. So, you know, a friendship dynamic might become something a little bit more intimate or romantic. Uh, so there is a potential for that here too. So you might not be aware about it. It could just be that maybe somebody's growing feelings for you, uh, but I do feel like it might be more of a mutual thing. So, you know, over time, you'll start to see that. So there could be a uh, new love situation kind of developing here, you know, slowly but surely in the month of November. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and move on from this energy, though, and let's see what you can now expect throughout the rest of your November 2022. So what else now can my Aries expect, please, throughout the rest of their November? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, throughout November 2022. What can they expect here? And what do we have? We have here the Nine of Cups. going to be a totally self-fulfilling month for sure. Moving into the next card, we have the Hierophant. Uh, we also have here the King of Cups. And then looking at one more card for what you can expect, we do have the Hangman. All right, so let's take a look into this for you. Well, we start out here with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a positive energy for sure. You know, it represents self-fulfillment. It represents being in a great space. You're happy, you're content. So you're going to have a very great month filled with contentment, which is pretty much what's been told to you from the start. Now, looking at the Hierophant showing up here for you, Hierophant is a great card because... It represents dedication, it represents devotion, it represents commitment. And with the King of Cups coming along right next to it, Hierophant here, King of Cups here, it says that you're going to be very dedicated to yourself and very dedicated to your emotions. You're going to be in a space here where you're putting yourself first in the month of November. And you're really going after your desires, your goals, and you're really focused and tuned in onto your happiness. And it's not a bad thing at all here. I think for many of you, it's going to really provoke quite an awakening here, especially with the Hangman showing up up too. The thing about the hangman is that the hangman might be a card in the tarot that could represent stagnation or feeling stuck or feeling trapped, but it's also a card that could represent enlightenment. So I feel that many of you are going to go through a personal, uh, see, I'm hearing levels, like you're going to go, you're going to be going through different levels of enlightenment throughout your uh, process and journey in the month of November, uh, where you're going to start to uh, change a lot of things in your life, but also wake up to the fact that a lot of things are not the way you once thought they were. So you're going to see things very differently. Your perspectives are heavily going to change. You know, I talked about that with the Ace of Wands over here previously, when I mentioned to you that your perspective of how you view the things you've lost are going to be very different, right? Because you're recognizing no matter what I lose in life, there's always more blessings to gain. So besides just that perception and perspective changing, I feel like your perspective is going to change on a lot in general this month. So for some of you, Aries, you might even be getting a prone here to a spiritual awakening. So some of you might have a spiritual awakening here in the month of November. So of course, take that if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. But what you can expect here for the rest of your month, honestly, is devotion to the self, contentment with your life, contentment with yourself, contentment with your mental health. You're going to be in a good place overall. You're working on you and you got good people in your environment and you're going to be doing big things. And I think that uh, you're going to be happy, probably the happiest you've been in quite some time. And um, as I mentioned, for some of you, there could be a love situation manifesting. It's not going to be uh, something that you're aware about quickly, but over time, you're going to start to notice that you've like developed feelings for somebody and vice versa. And uh, that I'm not sure where it's going, but it seems to just be one of those things that are going very slowly and uh, everybody seems a little bit unsure of what it can turn into. So I feel like we'll probably pick up on that maybe next month, but as of right now, it's just uh, a weird little uh, thing happening right now between you and somebody else. So of course, if that's what's resonating to you, right? But uh, either way, you know, big, big energies, big, big things happening here for you this month. And I'm really happy for you. I think uh, it's the happiest you've been in a while. You know, you're really seeing your life change right in front of your eyes. You know, the way you look at life is very, very heavily changing. And I think that, you know, just being in the space where you can 
feel confident and happy in who you are and express yourself to the fullest and just genuinely being in a good place mentally, just seeing the power within that and how it can allow you to do so much in life is going to be a really wonderful thing. You know, I know what it feels like to be hardcore depressed. You know, I know how it feels to be in one of the worst depressive states ever. And it's, it's hard when you're in those states to even get out of bed, you know, to even get out of bed or to make yourself breakfast or to, you know, do something that's very, very minimal of a task. And, you know, it's difficult when we get in those spaces, but when you're in a good place, when you're in a great mental health, when you're in a great place mentally, it's like everything just seems so much easier. It seems so much easier to go into a flow state and to get things done and to get things accomplished and to, you know, make big moves in life because of how prepped you are mentally. So it's going to be a wonderful feeling here to just see your mental health be in such a wonderful place here this month. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and jump on into the outcome and then we'll close out this reading here for you. Sorry that it's a little bit of a lengthy read, guys. It's a little long here today, but thank you if you've uh, made it this far. Appreciate you watching. And hopefully it's been a good message for you, okay? All right, what's the overall outcome here for Aries throughout November 2022? And what do we have? We have here the Two of Wands, and we have here the Page of Swords. I like it for you, baby. I like it a lot. And let me tell you why. When you see the Two of Wands, you see that there is one staff that's behind this woman, and then there's another staff that she's currently holding in one hand, and in the other hand, she's holding a globe, which is signified as the world. So the thing about the Two of Wands is that it usually is a card that represents not being able to make a choice, kind of represents indecision, but the Two of Wands in specifics represents that deep down below, you've always known what you've wanted and what you've needed, and now you have the ability to make it happen. So the two of wands here says, I'm choosing here to make my world everything that I desire it to be. I'm choosing to allow myself to manifest and live my best life rather than be hesitant. Page of Swords. You know, Page of Swords, a lot of people that read tarot call it the stalker card for me. It's more of a card of being hesitant, being held back, being scared uh, to take direct action. A Knight of Swords will take direct, ac uh, direct action, but a Page of Swords... I don't know. Page of Swords kind of teeter-totters around doing something. You think about something, you fantasize about something, but when it comes towards taking immediate action, you're not necessarily sure. So uh, you're moving out of that energy is essentially what the outcome is saying. The outcome is saying, hey, you're taking your life and you're taking initiative in it and you're building it and you're making it everything you want it to be. This is not a month, Aries, where you're going to allow life to pass you by. You're going to make life your bitch. <laughs> you know, period. You know, anything you want to do and accomplish, you're going to set your mind to it. You're going to get it done. That's just what, that's the way it goes, you know, and being in such a good place mentally, it's like it's not even an issue. You're going to be in such an easy flow state and it's going to be super easy to get into a flow state to accomplish whatever you want. So world card showing up here technically, right, because the two of wands, it might not be the world card, but technically it invokes the world type of energy. So it's like you're ready to create your own world. You're ready to step forward into your old world, um, into your own world. And that's the choice you're making here. You know, no longer are you deciding to get held back and no longer is anything happening mentally holding you back. It's like with being in such a great place mentally, I'm set free and my life is going to become everything I want it to be. All right. Beautiful. I like it, man. I really do. Aries, I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I think you're looking at a wonderful month here. Lots and lots of contentment, lots and lots of uh, exciting new ventures coming in as well. Ace of Pentacles. It's like, I'm in such a good place. I'm going to take the opportunity right now to ride out this energy and do a lot. And uh, I think you're going to be happy with what it is you do end up accomplishing. So enjoy the contentment. Enjoy the peace. Enjoy just being in this great vibration overall and have a fantastic time with it. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, do consider subscribing. And uh, with that being said, Aries, have a lovely November and I will catch you all in the next video. Much love and have yourselves a good one. Peace.